Hey guys, I'm Rachel and welcome back to my channel, my channel. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, 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 welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. <laughs> oh, I should do this in my intro. This is actually gonna be a nice intro. Hmm. Hey guys, I'm Rachel and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing my hot girl summer night makeup look. I mean, you could wear it in the day too. I ain't gonna judge you, sis. This is a judgment free zone, but I had to name this video something. Okay, so that's what I'm naming it. All right. Okay. I'm just feeling like real summery with my shirt and my neon earrings and you know, yeah, now, yeah, now. <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> Shit. Get it together. I'll be using my new ColourPop Uh Huh Honey palette. It's all yellows. I think it's gonna look really good. Um, ColourPop has been doing this monochroma monochromatic palette that I love. I'll speak about it more in the eye portion. Without further ado, let's hop to it. Comment if you thought my screen was frozen. I'm frozen. I'm just playing with you. Okay. All right, so let's get started. Oh, ColourPop also came out with like a skincare line named the Foot Ray Beauty, and I bought this turmeric face milk, and I love it so much. I'm gonna get some more there. Of course, ColourPop is very um affordable so you know i'm big on skincare here so check them out i don't think you're gonna regret it all right just thought i'd plug that in there so well of course this is name a night look and for a night look we are gonna prime the shit out of our face our faces and i'm first starting with my fenty primer i love this primer i look i was looking back at some uh videos of mine last night and i noticed how long i've been using this primer so prime 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 i am gonna go in with another primer i'm gonna use my milk hydro grip primer this is just gonna grip my makeup i mean you don't have to use all these primers but this is just what i do sometimes at this point um you could probably just use some translucent powder over your face to set the primer uh that works very well as well and i'm gonna go in with my elf poreless putty primer i'm just gonna take a little bit on a brush and just apply it right in this area because i do have a larger pose there and just underneath my eyes just a little bit just a little bit of course you don't have to use all these primers i'm just extra and i've been using my primers like that and it works really well for me so that's what i'm doing and last but not least i showed you this trick in another tutorial somewhere i don't remember which one where i'm just applying some eyeshadow primer where i tend to crease and I have a very oily eyelids and of course it's summer so I'm gonna just press that in those areas my smile lines and over my eyes and this is just gonna prevent the creasing from happening and it really does work there we are all primed I feel like it's been a while since I actually sat down to do any like um, makeup looks I feel like I don't know but I'm gonna dish it a couple for you guys because uh, i have been doing my makeup differently for the past two months i've just been using powder foundations and i will i mean scroll down to my channel to look at my powder foundation routine i still use that a lot when I, especially when i'm in a rush this 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 is a more like night look so we are going to do it differently i'm going to use foundation today so i'm just using some of this um elf camo concealer my current favorite concealer and this shade is a little bit darker than me and it has some red in it so it's gonna help me to cancel out the discoloration on my face and this concealer tends to dry very fast as well so you have to work sort of fast with it i'm almost done with this too that's how much i love this concealer and i actually have backup surface i'm gonna take a brush and i'm gonna start to blend the edges of the concealer i'm not actually blending underneath my eyes as well as yet i picked my face and it left this extremely dark mark please do not pick your face Please don't so I blended around it because I want this part of my eyes to stay like pigmented so I'm just gonna lightly with my beauty blender just press that in without like moving it around like so I feel like underneath my eyes tends to um, disappear a lot during the day especially in the corner of my eyes so 
I've noticed using more than one concealer prevents that from happening. I'm gonna go in with another concealer. This is the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. And on a brush, I'm gonna apply that underneath my eyes as well. Um, like I say, I've noticed using more than one concealer has been preventing the issues that I'm having. And I'm still not ending up with a cake face. So, I've just been loving doing that. And as you can see, it's a bit reddish as well, so it's gonna help continue to correct the discoloration underneath my eyes. And as I have been doing my foundation different recently, so I'm not going to be putting foundation in this part of my face. So just concealer is um, what I'm going to be using here. Planting this over my nose as well, because using I find like using foundation on my nose tends to disappear throughout the day. So I'm not trying to put too much foundation on my nose. Neither the concealer just stays in place better for me. Something about not putting too much product on your nose to me makes your face looks. Um, a little bit more natural this a little more natural-esque you know so i'm going in my Too Faced born this way a uh, foundation in the shade butter pecan i'm putting a pump of this on my hand and i'm gonna mix it in with my uh clinic stay matte oil free makeup this one in golden there are different formulas this one is darker the clinic one is darker and i feel like you know i want to look darker i got a tan and everything so just mixing them together is gonna work perfect for me and there are different formulas one is obviously matte and the Too Faced one is full coverage but it is not that matte and like i said i don't feel like i'm reaching for matte foundation so much anymore i don't like matte matte finish anymore i feel like i'm reaching for more satin finish but still full coverage i'm gonna use my beauty sponge and pump that into my skin and i'm not getting it underneath my eyes or to the center of my face just the side of my face Like this, I'm just keeping it in this lower region of my face. I don't want it where the concealer is. Like I went in with more than I really wanted for my forehead as well. I don't, be, I don't be putting much um, foundation on my forehead these days also. So that's it. As you can see, you still see my skin and you can still see some of the darkness peeking through. And I left it like that purposely because we are layering up as you can see here. I did not use all the foundation in the back of my hands. I'm going to be layering stuff so little by little by little until I get the coverage that I want. I find that that works best and it doesn't leave me with a cake face in at the end. Alright, so now I'm reaching for my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer and my e.l.f. Camel Concealer. I'm going to mix them because Too Faced is like, it's creamier and the e.l.f. is thicker. Also, the Too Faced one is, I want to lighten it up just a little bit. So I'm going to apply this in the usual areas. So while this gets tacky, I am going to do my brows and I also have been doing my brows differently as well. So I'm brushing the hairs upwards using my trusty M uh, Morphe, what is this palette again? 25B palette. And I'm just mixing these two shades, this one and this one. One is a dark one, one is like a dark brown. I'm just lightly going over the sparse areas in my brows, which is mostly the tail end of my brow. Just pulling that through with the brows. I really went in with like as little product so as possible. I'm gonna blend my concealer. I left it so it can get tacky, because the tackier it gets, the more coverage it gives. And I always like using a brush for the center of my face because I have more control <laughs> of the product. When I get to underneath my eyes, I'm starting to blend around it first and spread it out. Brown skin girl. Have you guys heard um, the Lion King uh, album? I love so much of the songs. My favorite is Brown Skin Girl and Spirit. Watch the heavens open. I love that song. Whenever I hear that song, I feel like crying. I don't know what about the song makes me so freaking emotional. Anyway, so I'm going over with my sponge and I'm tapping underneath my eyes, but very gently. 
because actually I'm trying not to remove too much of the concealer I just want it to kind of stay in place so I'm gonna apply a little contour I'm using my Colourpop foundation stick in the shade deep dark 197 and I have been doing my contour slightly different as well I'm applying it like really close to my actual cheekbones and very little like a little bit goes a long way you don't need to get crazy because I am gonna set this with a powder so little 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 to bill 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 I'm just cleaning my brows up just a little bit because I went in with so little product like doing this step to me gives me a little bit more definition and structure to my brows all right so <clears throat> now that we're here it's time for me to set the makeup in place all right so now i'm going with my mac nc42 powder foundation and i'm using this small blending brush from nyx is the number 17 brush tap of the excess and i'm just pressing that underneath my eyes this just makes my under eye look really really smooth I hope you guys looked at my last uh, video before my last two videos I, I, I uploaded them in two parts it's the brushes series so much people wanted to see it so I hope you guys are looking at it and I hope that it's helpful to you as well so I'm just applying the NC42 everywhere I place the concealer I spoke about brushes and how you can use them for different reasons even though they're marketed for one reason like this is a blending brush and I'm using it for powder underneath my eyes you know so if you haven't looked at that video as yet look at it if you're like confused about um, brushes and things like that I kind of break it down for you and I hope it was helpful brown skin girl now I'm taking my mix of my Huda Beauty Powder and my Fenty Beauty Powder. I mix them together because I'm getting the best of both worlds. Hi! <laughs> and I'm using the same brush. <laughs> Yo, I can't take myself serious. I'm sorry. Damn. Here I'm just pressing the powder into my skin where I get really oily to bake a little. I'm using a powder puff for that. Now I'm going to mix my MAC NC42 powder foundation and my Sephora micro smooth powder one has little coverage one has obviously it's a powder foundation so there's more coverage to it but the micro smooth powder like it says is very smoothing so I like mixing the two and I'm gonna set the rest of my face with that and I'm gonna just pounce it in first and then buff it off this is gonna add some coverage to my um, foundation is the reason why I didn't go in with too much foundation because I don't want to get cake face but it's gonna give me more coverage at the end of the day and I'll still end up with a bomb ass big face you know what I mean so that's why like applying very little product I'm building is important to me these days very little and build because I am going in with a couple of products as you guys can see so you don't want to layer thick layers thick layers thick layers you'll just end up with way too much product on your face so bear that in mind right, so i'm gonna bronze my face i'm using my fenty bronzer in coco note coco note i'm using my elf complexion brush like i said i hope you guys checked out my video on brushes Another reason why I didn't go in with too much contour because I am setting it anyway. It's gonna build up and give me this nice coverage. And I'm using my fluffy brush because I don't want to pack the product on too much, you know? Yeah, no. Shit. Like, real quick, do you see my face? All the products I've used, but do you see how like soft and smooth my face looks? Layering people. Lay or in, lay or in, lay or in. <laughs> Yo, I don't know what's up with me today. I'm, I apologize. I have these moments where I'm a clown. So I'm starting with the colors Sweet Spot and Old Behave. I'm just mixing them both on this M433 blending brush. Again, refer to my tutorial, my video on brushes. 
and I'm starting to build this color up in my crease windshield wiper motions building tap in tap in tap in windshield wiper motions and when there's no product on my brush I am going to small circular motions to diffuse it upwards so like looking at this palette I feel like this palette is going to make a very good companion palette as compared to the other palettes I feel like you can achieve more looks with the other palettes but this one I don't feel like it's very brown girl friendly you know I feel like if you're lighter the colors will probably show up better it's not very very pigmented not that that pigment is always an issue but I just feel like it's gonna show up better on a lighter skin person I don't know but I feel like it's gonna make a very good companion palette if you don't have yellows and stuff in your collection like you can purchase this palette to add pops of colors here and there but not to create even a total eye look because there isn't even a color deep enough here to deepen my crease like this is the brown one like what is that gonna do for me so I'm just using this small shadow brush and pressing the same two colors all over my lid because I want to pack it on more dandy and I'm gonna apply that color to the center of my eyes using the same brush Ooh. oh wow oh my lord this is a nice color i'm gonna take a darker gold now it's called queen bee on the same brush and i'm gonna apply it on the outer corners of my eyes And then I'm gonna take the sunburst. I'm sort of turning the palette this way because like this way the light is blinding the colors so much. So I'm hoping you see it better this way. So I'm taking the color sunburst on the same brush and I'm gonna apply this in the inner corners of my eyes. I just created a gradient with the three different shades of shimmer. I don't think the camera is picking this up neither. This looks so good. And spray and I'm just using that same blending brush with nothing on it to just diffuse the colors more so it's not too harsh okay now I also bought these like um, they're called glitter literally obsessed um, things from Colourpop they're basically glitter in a pot so if you're someone who likes glitter and don't want to deal with the mess of applying glitters and stuff like that with glue and all of that jazz I feel like this is going to be perfect for you it's going to make um it's going to make it work simpler and that's what we want with makeup speaking of that i hope you guys follow me on my instagram makeup because i've been doing this fuss free makeup makeup with ease thing on my stories i try to stay consistent with it and i did mention these there so you will get more tips and tricks there on a daily basis so follow me shells edition it's supposed to be popping up on the screen somewhere so I'm taking a little bit of this on this synthetic brush and I'm just gonna tap it to the center of my eyes I'm not swiping I'm tapping because I don't want to remove any of the work that I did underneath either I just want to add a little pizzazz I hope you guys have seen this I hope you guys have seen this oh my god oh my god look at her eyes mm. all right so let me do okay so i did the other eye off camera dusted off the powder on my face added some black pencil in my bottom lashes i'm going to complete that in a while so, so i'm going to use my juvia's place palette and this black named chad is the saharan palette on my flat definer brush i feel like looks like these need black with it they need brown they need something to help deepen it up i'm just going to bring the black out just a little bit Past my like if I'm gonna like if I was create a wing, but I'm not really creating a wing. I'm just focusing it on the out the outer view of my eyes. Then I'm taking a pencil brush with just a little bit of a you know lighter brown just to help diffuse the black a little bit. Okay, what the fuck is on my face? What is this? Makeup problems. Makeup fucking problems. 
all right so there we have it my very smoky bottom lashes Ooh, i'm loving this i'm gonna add a little blush now i'm gonna use my sleek palette i think top of the excess so i'm back i did set my brows already using my you know got to be i'm going in with some color pop and chiller pose this pose booming highlights sorry just apply this to the tops of my cheekbone all right so i applied my mascara like that's just boring stuff i'm not going to be using lashes i'm not like i always say i'm not big on lashes if you want to use lashes you you just do you but i'm not going to be using lashes i just i'm not so I feel like using a bright lip with these eyes, which is not something I typically do, but there are no rules to makeup. I usually don't do this though, because I feel like when I have so much on my eyes, I try to keep my lips very neutral, or if I have a bright eyes, then I'll do more. If I have a bright lip, then I'll do more on my eyes, but I'm gonna use this super Maybelline Super Matte Ink color in Romance. It's this hot pink here, and we're gonna go in. Approximately 10 hours later, and there we have it, my completed look. Ooh, I love this. I love this. I love this so much. I will say, however, I feel like the glitter separated. I don't know if you can see it a little bit on my eyes. Maybe I need to put more with it or whatever, but it did separate a little bit. But overall, I love it. I love this look. Comment down below if you love this look as well. Yes. I'm trying to get you guys to comment. You guys never comment, but you will tell me things. Like if you see me, who knows me and you see me, you will tell me something. Or you probably DM me and say something to me or ask me something some other time. But whatever it is, just comment down below. This is going to help me to grow here as well. Like leave your comments, thumbs up the video. Whenever you subscribe, hit the bell. These are the things that YouTube needs to see to know that my page is reaching somebody. That's so how I'm going to reach millions as I intend to eventually. You understand? So. I know it's a lot, but please do it. Leave the comment in the bottom bar. Be afraid. Just say what you're thinking. You know? Say what you're thinking, sis. Oh, bro. <laughs> anyway, this is a completed look. I hope you love it. I to I'm totally, totally in love with it. Totally, totally in love with it. I am definitely... I'm leaving the house just like this. I am actually going out like this right now. So, um, hi. If you're new here, my name is Rachel. Welcome to the family. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> everything i use will be in the description box so be sure to check that out as well all my social media links how to book me i am a makeup artist and a nail tech here in brooklyn check out all my social media platforms see my work follow me like comment share all that good stuff this really helps and it's gonna help me to go here on youtube so thank you so much for the support so far i really appreciate it this does not go unnoticed and until then i'll see you in my next tutorial on well next week i'll see you next week bye guys <laughs>